My name is Mike Kelland. I'm the CEO of Planetary Hydrogen. We take carbon dioxide out of the air and put it where Mother Nature wants it to be, which is actually in ocean chemistry. The problem with that process right now in terms of climate change is that it's actually really, really slow. So this process that takes carbon out of the air and puts it into the ocean naturally is going to take you know hundreds of thousands of years to get rid of all the emissions we put out there. So what our company does is we speed up that exact process using electricity. We do that by essentially making a product, a chemical product, which is a very mild form of alkalinity. And we do that using electricity, renewable electricity, and mine tailings to convert that into mild alkalinity. Then we take that mild alkalinity out to the ocean. What we do is we take you know a ton of carbon dioxide out of the air and we store it in the ocean. And then we sell the fact that we've done that to somebody like Shopify, for example, or the Canadian government. One of the challenges we have is that in order to sell that, we have to count it. One of the things that we're really looking for collaboration with Ocean Supercluster members. We're really looking for people who are building sensitive sensors for things like alkalinity and pH. We're looking for additional science work and people who are interested in engaging with us in building that platform to count carbon in the ocean. And the benefit of building a platform that is widely accepted for counting the carbon that's captured in the ocean is that we believe that that can be a kickstart for entrepreneurship in the ocean CDR sector or ocean carbon dioxide removal sector. Because once that's there, it de-risks a variety of different approaches that are similar to ours and allows a lot of innovation to come to Canada. 54% of the Maritime's lobster landings could disappear by 2100 based on a study that was done by Dalhousie last year if climate change continues unabated. So if we just keep going the way we've been going, we could lose half of the lobster industry in the Maritimes. What we're really trying to do as a company is take that ocean focus of the country and use it to develop technology. Some of the things that have really surprised me and made me really hopeful for the future about the supercluster, the ocean economy, and working out here is just the amount of innovation that's going on. If we apply our resources and we apply our intelligence and we apply all of the science and technology that we've developed in causing this problem, we can go forward, we can fix it, and we can continue to live the life we want to live, have the environment that we want to have.